Nigeria's Port Harcourt is synonymous with the frontier of the oil industry, but to the locals, it's also known as the garden city with manicured green lawns. 70% of all foreign investment is centered in Port Harcourt, and the city is well endowed with international and domestic airports, a bustling seaport, hotels, and conference facilities. But all this has meant that the city is congested and infrastructure has been stretched to its limits. All is not that green in the Garden City and infrastructure is decaying fast. But solution the state government of River State is looking at is to build a brand new city and the start of that process has been dubbed the master plan. Last master plan was in 1975. But it took on this administration, after successive administrations, to look at the issue of creating a proper master plan that will guide the developments and um, urban activities within the state. In 2009, the Greater Port Harcourt City Development Authority was established to transform the area into a world-class city. Local authorities have a vision of a city internationally recognized for excellence, a preferred destination for investors and tourists. I think that by the time it's done, it will probably be one of the most beautiful cities in the world. It may not seem so now because you're dealing with virgin land. But think of it another 10 years down, not even 50 years, which is the time we expect it to, be called, to get to its full bloom. But another 5, 10 years, you take one look at the area that is Greater Port Harcourt, and you'll be amazed you know, at the kind of new city you would see. We established by law a Greater Port Harcourt Development Authority whose resp resp responsibility it is to develop the city and manage it. Uh, we then went ahead to uh, contract a consultant from South Africa called Accords Gibbs who did the master plan and they are also the project managers of the new city. The Greater Port Harcourt City Development Authority has a governing board. Mrs. Cookie Gam is the administrator of the Greater Port Harcourt City Development Authority and this project is her passion. My passion is to be able to um, create conducive living conditions for our people. The city of Port Harcourt as it stands today is not the best, it's not the most attractive. Things could be better in the city of Port Harcourt. So we expect that if and when we do provide uh, the, the, the developments that we talk about, the living conditions of our people will certainly increase. We expect that we'll be able to provide them with all the infrastructure that would make for modern living. And at the same time, one critical thing we expect to gain from the development is that it's going to improve the economic life of the city. Nigeria's president, Good Luck Jonathan, was on hand to lay the foundation stone for the first phase of this ambitious project. The public-private partnership in the seat of the present administration is yielding the desired results. Let me assure all investors, as long as our participating partners continue to show sincerity of purpose, Government will continue to encourage all genuine investors in Nigeria in our collective efforts to reposition our economy to be among the leading economies of the world. The River State Government has committed itself to funding the project with 100 billion naira annually. At the same time, the old Port Harcourt is also being upgraded. To complement the old city of Port Harcourt, because the old city is already congested. Now, while we are building the new city, we are also upgrading the old city. Now, and one of the assignments that was given to us in the Minister of Urban Development is to ensure that the waterfronts are developed. And so what we do is that we take them in phases. Now we have mapped out the plan of action in the waterfront. And so what we do now is to gradually remove the slum settlements and rebuild it. And it's not just the old Port Harcourt that's been upgraded. Some towns in hard to reach areas of River State are also getting a facelift. The best way to get to one of them, Andoni, is by boat. And it's here that the state governor was holding one of a series of town meetings with the local people to bring them up to date with developments. And it was choppered into equally hard to reach Okobo. It's an Asian town with a world acclaimed history. Here too, the governor met with the people and responded to their questions. But the state cannot do all this without shopping for partnerships. We believe that if 
and when we put the infrastructure in place, we'll be able to get the private sector participation and involvement in building some of the top structures that we require. The image of a proper oil city, a treasure base of Nigeria, will be projected with a more aesthetically appealing environment, high-rise buildings, uh, proper landscaping and proper um, aesthetics. To meet the vision of a well-planned city, the River State government wants to find partners in power generation and transmission, solid waste management, water supply and reticulation, housing projects, multi-sector industries and a comprehensive urban transport system and hopefully to improve the lives of the locals and Port Harcourt's many international visitors.